So one quality certain types of functions have is symmetry and whether or not they are even or odd. So let's talk about those. Symmetry, there's a couple different types. You can have symmetry across the y-axis, symmetry across the x-axis, or symmetry across the origin. So let's look at some basic graph shapes. If I had a standard type of parabola, this graph has symmetry across the y-axis because if I were to rotate it across the y-axis, flip it over, I would get the exact same function back. So this is symmetric about the y-axis. If I had something like this, kind of like a parabola on its side, that would be symmetric about the x-axis because if I rotated it across the x-axis, I would get the same thing. Note that if you have something that's symmetric about the x-axis, uh, that's not going to be a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. So, symmetric across the x-axis uh, means you don't have a function. And finally, there's symmetric about the origin. That would look something like this. So what that means is that if you took the top part and rotated it 180 degrees around the middle, you would get, line it up with the other part. Or sometimes you can think about this as <coughs> uh, just symmetry, as in rotating, or I'm sorry, replacing x's with negative x's and y's with negative y's. And that leads us directly into odd and even functions. So this, what we were just talking about, symmetry about the origin, that is a, a, a quality of an odd function. So something like this is odd. Symmetry about the y-axis, the first one we just talked about, that is the quality of an even function. Like I said here, if you have symmetry about the x-axis, that's actually not a function. So this is an example of an odd function. This is an example of an even function. So let's think about what those mean algebraically instead of graphically. So for an even function, the defining factor here is that no matter how far we go to the right or to the left, our y values are always the same. So for an even function... Your algebraic notation for that is that f of x, meaning the y at any given x, is the exact same as the y at the opposite of that x. So you can see here, 1 and negative 1 have the same y. 5 and negative 5 have the same y. That's a characteristic of an even function. For an odd function, what this means is if you have f of x, the y at any given x, that is the exact same as the opposite of that y at the opposite x. So for example, on this odd function, if you plug in x equals 3, let's say we got 3 for the y. That means if you plug in negative 3 for the x, you have to get negative 3 for the y. Though x's are opposite and the y's are opposite. So that's an even function and an odd function and the types of symmetry that you're going to see.